What's happening guys? It's your boy DJ Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create keyed smart crates in Serato DJ Pro. Now before we move any further, let's hear a little word from our sponsor, DB Line. This video is sponsored by DB Line. DB Line is a clothing and merchandise line for the DJ, for musicians, for music lovers, for photographers, for videographers, for content creators like a lot of you are, and for gamers. Visit dbline at dbline.equid.com. You can also find dbline on Instagram at dblinemerch. Also on Facebook at dblinemerchandise. Okay, we're back. So you may be wondering, why would I want Keed Smart Crates? Well, if you searched and found this video, you probably already know why. But just uh, to reiterate, Personally, I'm the type of DJ who likes to mix from one song to the next, harmonically in key, uh, and it doesn't matter whether I'm playing for one hour, um, a one hour set, a two hour set, or even a six hour set, which I often do at times. And so yeah, I like to, from the beginning of my set all the way to the very end of my set, for the most part, I'm, I am staying in key. Now what I mean by key is um, the harmonic key or according to the Camelot oil. Now I already have a video um, up on my YouTube. It's called how to mix in key and that goes a little bit more further into how to mix in key. You can check that video out over here. But like I said, this video, we're going to create um, a whole organized folder of keyed smart crates. Now it's going to make your life easier sifting through your library that much easier if you're trying to mix in key and you just don't know um, what song you want to play next, at least it's organized by key. It's basically going to take a lot of guesswork out of what you're going to play next because you want to stay in key, you already know what genre you're in, boom, you found it. Alright, so now let's jump into Serato DJ Pro. Alright, now if you look to the left in the playlist column, you're going to see a main crate um, called MP4 by key and then one MP3 by key. And you can tell they have sub crates or crates inside of them because of the white drop down triangle button. If you click on the icon, you can drop it down. Now the reason why I have MP4 by key is I am also a video DJ. So if I'm at a regular gig just playing music, I have all my MP3 files organized by Keith Smart Crates. And then when I have my video hard drive hooked up, um, it'll automatically filter out all the uh, video files by key. I have some video files already, but it's these are just video clips, not music videos. So for all intents and purposes, we're going to be referring to mainly the MP3 by key. Now, as you see, I have all 24 keys of the Camelot wheel here, 1A all the way to 12B. Now they are keyed smart crates, or they are smart crates because it has the blue crate symbol with the letter S. Now, if you don't know what a smart crate is yet, what it is, it's a basically what it is, a crate that is smart. You created a crate and you can create rules inside the smart crate to be able to filter in or out what you want the smart crate to organize. So for instance, if you wanted all 80s music, you would create a smart crate and you would add rules of the year basically any, anything after 1979 and anything before 1990 and they would organize all the music in that era into that folder. But like I said, we are making Keith Smart Crates. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close that. I am going to create, what you wanna do is hit the blue Smart Crate Add button right here. Okay, so now you see your Smart Crate Rules window. We're going to add a few rules. Now, when you click Add Rule down here, you'll see a few things. You'll see this call, this drop-down menu, this drop-down menu, and um, this type in field. So we are going to hit the first drop-down menu, and we are going to select Key. Here, we drop down this menu. You have Contains, Is, Does Not Contain, Is Not. We want Contains, and we're going to start at the very top of the Camelot wheel, so we are going to type in one a. Okay, we are going to add another rule because I don't want this demonstration to pull any video files. I'm going to put mp3. Uh, we're going to choose file name. We want 
We want all file names to contain MP3, which is the extension of the file name. And then we're going to hit save. And now it's creating the smart crate over here. Now if we click on the smart crate, we see all of our files that are pulled. But if you haven't, if you notice, you'll see it pulled um, files that are 11A. We don't want that. We want all 1A. So what we're going to want to do is edit that crate. We're going to add another rule. Basically, we're going to choose key, and we do not want it to contain 11A because anything that has 1A in the key, it's going to pull. So 1A is obviously part of 11A. So we want to eliminate all 11A and just 1A. So if we hit save to update that, it's now thinking and it's going to reorganize. And there you have it. All of our MP3s that are in the key of 1A. I've got a lot of music, yeah. Okay, so we're going to rename this crate 1A. We're going to create our next Keyed Smart Crate. So once again, you hit the blue Crate Add button, the letter S, our Smart Crate rules. Next, we'll do the key 1B. So let's go ahead and drop down menu to our key. Contains 1B. Okay, we're going to add another rule. Key does not contain any 11B tracks. And then once again, I'm going to add the MP3 rule because I have some video files here that I do not want it to pull. File name contains MP3. We're going to go ahead and click Save. It's going to go ahead and create that key smart crate. Click on that, double check that it pulled all 1B tracks, no 11B, and that they are all MP3s. So there you have it. Let's rename this to 1B. I will demonstrate creating a keyed smart crate for videos real quick. So let's do add one more. I'm going to add a rule. Let's do 4A for instance. So uh, key contains 4A. And then we want file name to contain MP4. So we hit save, and now it's going to pull all um, 4A video files that are, yeah, all 4A video files. So let's name this 4A. Okay, so now you want to organize and put in a main folder like I have, mp3 by key. So simply just hit the create regular crate. Let's name this mp3 by key 2 since we already have a mp3 by key main crate folder. And simply organize, drag and drop those folders that you created. That way it's not making a huge mess in that playlist column. You can just simply drop down and check out all your, your key smart crates just like this. It's going to make DJing, I know it has for me, it, it's going to make DJing that much easier for you. That way you're not searching through all your files to look for another, another track of the same key. It's all organized by key so you know that you're mixing into another track that can harmonically mix right into it. And then if you want to jump into like 2A from 1A, you know, you know how that works. So go ahead and let's close that. So yeah, it's going to take a little time to create all 24 keys of the Camelot wheel because you're going to be creating everything from 1A all the way down to 12B. But it may, it may take some time, but it's going to be definitely worth it because, like I said, it's going to be that much easier for you to find your next keyed track. So yeah, I thought I'd share with you that knowledge of keyed smart crates. It's a little bit of OCD-ish of me, but it keeps me organized and it takes a lot of guesswork out of um, the job when it comes to DJing and selecting your next tracks. It's definitely a time saver for sure. If my video tutorial helped you to stay organized, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Please leave any comments or questions down below and I will answer them ASAP. And please hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future videos and uploads. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics. Hope you all have a wonderful day.